What's up, this is Attila. Today I'm gonna be talking about all the Panther tunings from the Cowboys From Hell album to the Reinventing the Steel album. This has been a long requested question to do this kind of video and for a very good reason which I can totally relate to since uh, I clearly remember how much I used to struggle figuring out all the tunings for these songs. In the description you can see all the tunings and all the songs. So instead of 440, most of the songs are 425 standard D. So if you can set up your tuner to 425, that would make your life so much easier. But if you can't, because many of the tuners can only go down to 430 or something like that, there's other ways to pull it off. And I will show you how I used to get around that problem. I think it's like uh, 25 songs, songs like New Level, Walk, Revolution is my name, I Can't Hide, Trend Kill, Becoming, Broken, just to mention a few, from Cowboys to Reinventing the Steel, which are in standard D tuning. This was the most commonly used tuning, both live and on the studio records. So in case if your tuner does not go down to 425, there is other ways around it. And I used to do this uh, as well. So let me show you a open D string tuned to 425 and here or here I don't know you can see my tuner which I've been using for quite a while it's a TC electronic polytune and you can see that this standard D with this tuning is somewhere in between D and C sharp and it leans towards a C sharp see it arrives there that I'm used to use for this tuning 10 to 52 uh, hybrid sets with a short scale neck, like a Gibson scale, I believe. They are quite loose. It means that if you hit the strings hard, they go sharp first and then they go flat and stay there. That's why you can see it's starting on a C sharp or on a D and it goes down to C sharp. C, D for a moment and then it's C sharp. So let me show you all the strings with this tuning for D standard 425 here comes the A string and then the D string G string horrible string all G strings are horrible on the guitar This was 425 standard D. Okay, so now let's talk about the second most commonly used tuning, which was 425 standard E. Songs like Mouth for War, Fucking Hostile, Slaughtered, even You've Gotta Belong to It on Reinventing the Still, or just some of those many. It's actually 14 songs, I believe. Yes, 14 songs which are tuned to this tuning. Actually it's 14 plus 10 songs because the 10 songs on the Cowboys album are tuned to 435 but they used to play those songs live in 425 so we can say it's 24 songs. So the tuning will look like this. Again if you have a tuner which you cannot set up to 425 you want to aim like right in between E and D sharp. Going to D sharp.
Now let's talk about the drop D tuning songs, which there are three. Medicine Man, Primal Concrete Sledge, and the third one would be No Good. And actually the first two are not in 425, but in 435. But I'm gonna show it to you in 425, this drop D tuning, because they used to play those songs, especially Primal Concrete Sledge, uh, live with 425 tuning. Same with No Good, of course. So it's a standard E, tuning 425 and you drop the E string. This is how 425 drop D sounds like the low E. There's two songs, Sand Blessed Skin and Underground in America on the Great Southern Trendkill album, which have a different tuning, tuned to a standard D, 425 again, and you go down with the low D string, an octave lower than the actual A string. So one octave lower than this. For this, uh, I believe Dime used to use something like a 56 or 60, which still is very loose. Once I tried it with a 90, <laughs> it sounded huge and amazing. It was actually louder on stage with this amount of gain as well. This one, I believe, is a 80, uh, 58 or something like that. Still very loose. You can see it goes up a lot and then drop spec. You just make sure that if you pick the two together, then they sound like an octave pair. This is a very cool one. There's two songs which are tuned to drop C, meaning that it's in the standard D and you drop the lowest D string. Those two songs are I'll Cast a Shadow and it makes them disappear off of reinventing the Steel album. And they sound like this, meaning the tuning, they sound like this. using the same gauge, so it's definitely very loose now.
there's one song tuned to C sharp 425 and that would be drag the waters off of the great Southern Trent Kill album. I assume it's just an assumption that they use the same gauge strings 10 to 52s because if I tune it to 425 C sharp it's a little bit flat but if I pick it really hard then it sounds good to my ears so softly it's not like that but if I hit it hard then it sounds right. So these are the notes. I pick it gently now. You can see it goes lower, it goes flat. So last but not least, on the Cowboys from Hell album, they used to tune just slightly flat to 440. Once I read that it was 435, which sounds good to my ears. Many of the tuners can be set to 435, but I'm gonna show it to you how it sounds. And you can see it on my tuner, what it shows. With this one, it's, uh, it's a little more off. For most of the songs, with the exception of Primal Concrete Sledge and Medicine Man on Cowboys from Hell are tuned to this. It's just slightly more flat than a standard E. Now let me talk about the string gauges that I use for these tunings. So when it comes to 425 or either 435 standard E, then I use a 9 to 46. And when it comes to the 425 standard D or drop C even, I use 10 to 52s. These are the gauges actually that time used to use for these tunings. And for the more special tunings, such as the one for Sandblasted Skin and Underground in America, where you drop the low E string an octave lower to the A string. Then I put on a either a 60 or maybe even 66 on the low string, and I tune that down one octave lower than the A string. But in case if I wanna use the guitar as a backup guitar, which I have set it up now, then I usually put on 58 or 60 because if I break a string I can play the standard D songs as well. And there's one more song worth to mention and that would be Suicide Note Part 1 which is played on a 12 string acoustic guitar and that one is I believe tuned down to 435 standard D tuning and that's about it. Thank you very much, this was it for today. I hope that you find this information useful for your playing and tuning and learning Pantera songs and I'll see you next time. Take care. Ciao.